Every year in the NFL, it's a new team. As far as goals go, we have one. Putting the ring on our finger. Welcome to the Buccaneers Observer Podcast. This is Ralph Phillips. I'm Molly Bay. Today is November 29th, 2020. 29th, man, what a, you know, <laughs> what a tough game. It was, it was enjoyable, though. It was not to me. I'm, well, I will say this. I think that the Buccaneers played extremely disjointed, and it remind me, reminded me of last year when we were moving on offense and the defense couldn't get a stop or the defense kept getting stops and the offense couldn't get anything going. It was like they just weren't all clicking at the same exact time, and I feel like that's what we're experiencing now. No, just come right out and tell us how do you feel about the game? <laughs> Are we done with the podcast? Yeah, let's wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, the hardest part for me was listening to Tony Romo talk about how crappy we were for the first half. You know, he, he ragged on Bruce Arians, Byron Leftwich, Tom Brady, uh, Mike Evans, our whole secondary. We were, like, really excited about him announcing. Yeah, he's a horrible announcer. Yeah, but he still thought we were going to be in the Super Bowl. At the end, after you know yeah. we came back and made it a game, because he didn't think it was going to happen. Everybody <laughs> thought, oh, man, this is going to be a slaughter fest. Yeah, we were down 17 zip. In the first quarter. Yeah. And it looked like they were just able to move at will. But, you know, our defense did tighten up. Yeah, and- well, I think that they were playing really well to begin with. Like, they... Did, the Chiefs did drive down the field on their first drive, but then after that, we got quite a few stops. We got a goal line stance stand. Sure. How do you say it? Mm-hmm. Which one? Yes. Stop. Tell me which one. And then our offense went out, a three and out immediately after that, you know, and so it was like we couldn't take advantage of the opportunities that were just laid at our feet. This is true. We did uh, not uh, capitalize on a lot of stuff, made some mistakes, didn't play the best football in the world, that's for sure. We had, uh, it was crazy. You know, people are going to say, oh, we had too many penalties. They had a lot of penalties. They had three back-to-back in one drive. They had three back-to-back that were not called. The only one was called. It was crazy. I, and this is probably a different one than what you're talking about, but I counted they had two. Yeah, two, two holds. Yeah, two holds back to back, and then they got called on the third one. But they should have been called on the first two. They were just ridiculous. Yeah, and and people are going to say that the we we put the zone is what killed us or whatever you know because you've been hearing that. But all of the hills big catches were against man coverage. It's poor you know, Carlton. Like, he looked bad. Oh, yeah. It was on him. Like, every yeah. time it looked like they were picking on him. But it wasn't like he was getting blowed out. He wasn't like five years. He was right there with every pass. Uh, you know, he just didn't have the right technique. He wasn't turning around. Turned around too late. And, you know, it was a great throws, great catches. You know, just. I like, know. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's beat, what the Chiefs offense it does. It wasn't bad. It wasn't huge. Yeah. As for penalties, yeah, the Chiefs had 10 penalties for 82 yards. We had eight for 57. Yeah, see, right, so they had more penalties. Mm -hmm. And they had some pretty crucial penalties at crucial times, too. We, again, the tackling was bad. Yeah. You know, missed tackles, these wily guys, and, you know, some blown coverage. You know, not really that bad. I don't know. We had a couple. There was one where we blew coverage and guy was wide open and they dropped the ball. But we dropped the ball. A lot of passes right through mm-hmm. receivers' hands. Mike Evans had one. Mike Evans had one, yeah. So, you know, the blame could be spread all around, as usual. That's the way we've been, which, you know, is not really a bad thing. You don't want there to be one section that's constant or one guy that's constantly screwing up, you know. But don't you spread think that's easier to fix or address? <laughs> Yeah. Then always, everyone's just bad. <laughs> it always, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but this is football math. So. Oh, gotcha. Know. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, you never know what's going to happen when you get rid of one player when you cut them or whatever. You know, like right? Like Vernon Hargraves when we cut him, just like boom, turnaround. JPP came back. I yeah. think that was the boom turnaround point. Yeah. Speaking of JPP, with his, he had a sack and a TFL and a quarterback hit. Are those all from the sack? That's what I need to know. <laughs> like, <laughs> they can all fit there. One play, twelve stats. I hate that. Yeah. But that um, roughing the passer that they call on him. Yeah. And I, it was just kind of he he hit Mahomes in the helmet. I've seen that called. I've seen that not called. I know. It's one of the best. How many all Jameis last year, you know? Yeah, Jameis where got, they didn't call got hit in the helmet all the yeah. time. And Brady got hit in the helmet one time tonight and they didn't call it. Well, but, then they called it like twice in a row, I think. Yeah. Something similar. And I was like, yeah, that was a good call. But not against JPP. That was terrible. <laughs> well, at least they were somewhat consistent. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, you really can't fault them for In that. In case anybody isn't aware, we got beat by the Kansas City Chiefs. What was the final score? 24-27? 20, yeah, 24-27. You and know, it was, it was a close game. It was just like last week. It was yeah, just like I'm, against the Bears. I'm not... I don't yeah, know. we're we're generally in it at the end. We just not pulling the trigger. Our yeah, defense if, couldn't stop them. If we had played end. a consistent, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like initially, the Bucks defense kept giving the offense opportunities, and the offense just kept going three and out. And then mm-hmm. eventually, you know, the defense is probably tired. The time of possession was just ridiculous. It was like 37 minutes to Whoa. yeah, 36 47 for the Chiefs and 23 13 for the Bucks. So the Bucks defense, I'm sure, was tired. And as soon as the offense started firing on all cylinders, the defense already tired. Can't keep up. Good point. Yeah, because well, they we were down by three. We punted, kicked to them, and they got uh, we just you know, them. crappy field position. I mean, it wasn't horrible, but it was not great. And we just needed to stop them from getting a third down twice. And they did both of them on Mahomes runs. That aggravated me because he hadn't done nothing all night with his legs. And then we did that, but the, you know the defense just didn't stop them when they needed to. Yeah. You know, defense, like you said, played great during a lot of the game, but you know, just didn't get it done. Yeah. And that's what we said. You know, you weren't going to stop the Kansas City Chiefs. You just needed to slow them down so our offense can keep pace with them. I'm just happy that we held them to 27. Like, that's phenomenal to me. I'll take it. Well, I mean, from, go from 17 zip to 27. Yeah, 24. exactly. That's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, they scored a field goal in the second quarter, a touchdown in the third quarter, and then nothing in the fourth quarter. Wow. So, I mean, they really did blow their wad at the beginning of the game. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, pff, tough game. It was a, uh, but you know, it, I uh, would almost want to say it was better than we expected in the sense that we didn't yeah. get beat up. It really, really that first quarter, it was you're thinking, oh, this is going to be a slaughter fest. Yeah, and exactly. And they come out and, you know, started playing good defense and stopping them. And we were started scoring. Next thing you know, it's like, hey, we're only three points down with time to mm-hmm. get three points. Good mm-hmm. Lord. If the defense can hold them. Yeah. What do you think about? Everyone blaming the coaches. It's that time of year again where we're <laughs> calling for everyone's firing. We got a little further, I think, than in years past. I think normally it starts end of October, early November. <laughs> so we've made it yeah, almost through all November way. before. Yeah, I we saw people, get the calls. people on Twitter and whatnot calling for Bruce Arians to be fired. Like, uh, Which is so ridiculous. It's it's the whole fantasy football thing. They think that we have such a talented roster. All you got to right. do is plug in a new right. head coach who knows what they're doing. Which, right. oh, let's just go to the coach tree and find one of those. <laughs> like, that's going to be super simple. Find, find somebody with a 7.8 rating. Uh, yeah. Strengths are uh, adjustments. And not taking in the power in, adjustments. Yeah, not taking into <laughs> account that this we might have a great roster right now, but a new because. coach is going to go bring in all his new, you know, the guys that he wants. So yeah. to say, but, oh, we've got the roster, we just need the coach. No, that's not how that works at all. The, the same thing was said with uh, Raheem Moore. Same thing was said with mm-hmm. Shiano. Same thing was said with Lovey. Lovey. Same thing was said with Cutter. You know, it's uh, 
I don't know. We're right here. If we would if we would have kept Raheem Morris through that whole time, <laughs> we'd probably still have the same record. I know. You know. But you know, it gives hope, and hope is what what makes you wake up in the morning. Yeah, I've got hope. I, you know, that's the best team in the league, if you ask me. And we, yeah, you know, we kind of went toe to toe with them. You know, they, they beat us up some. We beat them up a little bit. And, mm-hmm. You know, at the end, it was a little scary for them. They were like, "Huh." These guys could win if we they don't get this first Could come thing. back, yeah. Uh, Ronald Jones had some good runs going on. Yeah, he's been killing it, man. Yeah. They, again, they're just not feeding him enough. I know. It's, uh, I agree. You know, it, it's, it's there for the taking. Every time he got the ball, was it, do, do you have his yards yeah, per carry 66 average? 66 yards. Per mm-hmm. average? <laughs> Total. Hold on. Uh, he was averaging 7.3 yards a carry. He averaged 7.3 yards a carry. Yeah. And how many times do we hand it to him? Nine. Nine. What? What? When yeah. we were down by ten, I was like, that was the perfect time to really slow this game down. Yeah, I think I thought so too. Throat. Yeah. Um the I will say there were some questionable play calls, especially in the first quarter when we're down. And we kept getting these third and twos third and ones and we're passing it i was screaming at yeah. that point like just run the ball just give it to rojo mm-hmm. someone anyone come on mm-hmm. yeah we're a pass first offense though we only run because we have to but i mean do it when it make you know run when it makes sense but, does it make sense then, to chunk it 10 yards on those but plays? then the haters wouldn't have nothing to hate them <laughs> if you did everything right <laughs> Hey, let's talk about our offensive line right now because uh, thank God Donovan Smith and Ali Marpet can play. And Bruce Arian said uh, Donovan came into the facility today and he said, oh, I think I have like half a game in me. Like he was wearing a boot on the ankle and he ended up playing the whole game. So thank God man. for them. You know, yeah. with Donovan, we do give him a hard time, but. It's even worse when he's not in because Josh Wells is just not good. Hey, left tackles don't grow on trees. Yeah, which is why we had to pay him so much. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they are probably one of the hardest positions to fill out there. You know, you don't want to just, you know, this guy isn't a superstar, so let's get rid of him. And he's, like you said, he's an Iron Man. So that's a a definite plus. I know. Thank God. You now, know, I just have always have a newfound appreciation for Donovan anytime he might be out. Because <laughs> Josh <laughs> Wells. Josh Wells. Just, oh. uh, the, uh, it looked like there was, they got pressure on Brady, you know, at points. And, but it looked to me like they were blitzing a lot. And that's what was getting the pressure. I wouldn't, it, I, it didn't really look like the offensive line had breakdowns. Yeah, now hard and to pick up. Brady was only sacked one time for three yards, so he was hit quite a bit. But then again, he's usually hit. Yeah, he was hit, he was hit in New England. I was actually surprised when I went back and looked at the game film on his previous years how often he did get hit. He just get clobbered. Yeah, they had eight quarterback hits. So out of forty-one plays, that's all we had was forty-one plays or forty-one passes. Forty-one passes. Okay, let me see. That's still a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of passes. We had 55 plays total. They had 72. Good Lord. Wow. Yeah. I mean, we had 417 yards total. They had 543. They had 130 yards on us. Yeah, so we were slinging it on them. Yeah. And that's impressive because they got a really good secondary. They don't allow a lot of receivers to do really well. And I think Mike Evans had a 100-yard game tonight, didn't he? No. No. No, it was Gronkowski. Gronk did, Gronk yeah. Gronk did. Uh, Mike did have 60-some yards. Let me see. Oh, 50 yards. And, and two, two touchdowns. touchdowns mm-hmm. Yeah. So you take that all day. And mm-hmm. then Chris Godwin had 97 yards with no touchdowns. And then Gronk had 106 yards. Yeah. So I'm, we spread it around pretty good. Yeah, not bad about that. Uh, Antonio Brown was back there returning punts. Did he return kickoffs? I don't remember. Do we have any return kickoffs? We had one kick return by Justin Watson. I don't even remember seeing him out there. Mm. I remember seeing him on special teams, but not kick return. 
And then we had Antonio Brown had one punt return for two yards. <laughs> Man. So, yeah, he didn't do it. Yeah, doing and nothing. And he, he like ran around in circles a little bit. Yeah. Man, everybody's going to be coming down hard on Carlton Davis, you think? He said he... Uh, no, I think everyone's too mad at the coaching staff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just... Well, you know, it's one of those games where you know anybody you want to blame, they're there to blame. You yeah. Know, Tom Brady, he threw two interceptions. Uh, Mike Evans dropped the ball plenty of times. Yeah, we had some drops. Uh, defensive line didn't get enough pressure. Uh, secondary screwed up. You know, JPP with that penalty, that uh, yeah, call back the interception. <laughs> Whatever you want to be mad about, this game yeah. gives, you the, gives you the ammunition. <laughs> They're still harping about the Bruce Arians and Tom Brady feud that's rumored to be going on. They, they asked him that post post game. Well, didn't they do this with him and Bill Belichick all the time too? Like it was always him and Belichick going at it. I don't know. Supposedly, I don't know. I just yeah. I I don't care if they throw cans of dog food at each other <laughs> as long as they can win. Yeah. Well, I think the theory is they're fighting because they're not winning. Fan base is fighting. I know. Okay, so we we're do. seven and six. No, seven and five, right? Yeah, seven and five. We got, we got four games left. We're on our bye week this week. We got four games left. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we only have four games left. It makes me really sad. I know, I know. And this week had no bearing on our playoff position. We had no change in the our seeding. The NFC right. West is still shaken up a little bit. The NFC East is shaken up a little bit. The Giants are now in first in the NFC East, although the Eagles play Monday, so they do have a chance to overtake them, I think, but... Yeah, the Giants are four and seven now, <laughs> leading the NFC East. We really want that five seed spot, which is where the Rams are currently, so we can play the Giants. <laughs> well, or I mean, whoever wins the NFC East. We've got four games left, and three of them we should definitely win, no doubt about it. So you know, if we just win the games we're supposed to win, we'll be in the playoffs. Yeah. You know, and we might even get in with just winning two of them. You know, a nine and six, nine and nine and seven might win this year. They might get into the playoffs. You know, they've got the extra wild card seed, so to, you might not have to be more than ten and six or ten and six plus, whatever. <clears throat> Don't know. We'll see. But I would, I would think nine and seven will probably get you in. I don't want to chance it. Me neither. I want to <laughs> win the rest of them. Who is it? We got Atlanta twice. We got Philadelphia. And then who else? Is it Detroit? Yeah, I think we played Detroit. It's Detroit and Philadelphia? No, it's not Philadelphia. Okay, hold on. Help me out here. Don't be looking. <laughs> Just stop. Hold on. Hold on. Let me uh, look this Let up. Let me look on the interwebs. Uh, I use DuckDuckGo, so it's just... Okay, yeah. Uh, we've got the Vikings. Falcons. Vikings, okay. Vikings, Vikings Falcons. Falcons twice, and Detroit. So we should win three of those without question. You know, say we, we, say we split Atlanta, you know, one for, one against. And uh, Detroit... There ain't no way we can't lose to them. Come on, now. they just fired their coach and GM. Yeah, and like, Minnesota, you know, they're falling apart. But hey, let's say give them a win. That gives us two wins. We'll be nine and seven. I think that's going to get us in. Yeah. You know. No, I think we can win out. I think we can too. Yeah. We should and we will. I think they focus again. The bye week, we've been talking about this for a couple of weeks. They focus on the fundamentals, the tackling, the catching. Yeah, yeah, the tackling hurt, tackling hurt. Which they're catching. slippery it, anyway, it, although I do feel like we held, like you said, we held Mahomes more than I expected. Mm-hmm. Because he's so slippery and he's so fast. Yeah, man, he did juke out. <laughs> the oh, two David, of them, Devin yeah. Lyon. It was like, what? I saw him running over there. I was like, oh, they got him. The next thing I know, he was going in the opposite direction. Yeah, he basically. cut in. <laughs> and they were shooting past him. I was like, what? Well, uh, Devin there. White led the team in tackles with 12. 
and then Levante Davis was right behind him with eight. So they picked on those two quite a bit, I think. So we've lost to the Bears, the Saints twice, Kansas City. Who else? Rams. We haven't lost to a bad team. Those yeah. are all good teams. Yeah. Chicago. <laughs> Chicago's the only one who's not in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, the Chicago's got a good defense. I mean, we played good defenses. Yeah. You know, it's not like we're out there crapping the bed against the uh, I don't know, Jaguars or the Jets. So now that I say that, we'll probably crap it against uh, the Falcons. There's no way. <laughs> they There's whooped up. no way. They whooped up on the Raiders today. It was a 44-3 or well, something. Well, I think <laughs> that's because the Raiders are collapsing. What do you mean? I just think that they peaked early. I don't oh, oh, right. That's your theory. Of the yeah, that's my theory. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, ever since we played them, they've kind of sucked. Yeah. We ruined their season. We beat the joy out of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Romo had a good game. Romo. Uh, Rojo. Rojo. I think Romo. <laughs> he called a good game. How about that? Yeah. No, he didn't. No. He was crapping all over the Buccaneers. I don't even the listen to these people. I know. I was getting I'm ready to say, man, listen. mute this. A lot of times I will listen to it off and just listen to music instead. It's really actually a more enjoyable experience for me, but. The uh, Romo was just just saying all kind of the crap about everybody. That, like he was pounding that we don't go into motion enough. You know, it was like we don't go into motion. We don't go into motion. We go into motion. You know, it's like, maybe not enough for his liking, I guess. Yeah. Who was it we were listening to or watching? And they said, "Oh, it was the Red Zone guy." <laughs> he was like. They should do this, but they're going to do what they want to do. <laughs> yeah. Talking about the team. Chris Hansen, I like him. He's like the only one yeah. that I like. He's good. But he was trashing. Romo was just trashing the, you know, not enough emotion on offense. And, you know, I'm like, do motion. What do you want to do motion every play? I guess he can. Rams basically did. But we, do, we didn't do it enough for him. So he just, it was funny, though. He kept going, you know, they don't. They don't go into motion now. Let's let's watch this play right here. Okay, you see 87's going into motion there? Okay. <laughs> that's that's not... Uh, that's unusual for that's them. That's just not what they've been doing a whole lot of. Let's look on the next play. All right. Okay. No mo- Okay, 14's in motion. That's, that's short motion. That's not you know enough to really tell what the defense... That was funny. That was my impression of Tony Rowe. It was good. Spot on. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we did a lot of stopping them, too, in the second half. Yeah. They had a third and one. Got that. That was when he juked out both our linebackers. And then, uh, yeah, we kept uh, stopping them, making them punt. We get the ball. We were scoring. Then we they get the ball, we'd stop them, make them punt. Happened to not, I mean, none of that 24 points that was scored was defensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was all offensive scoring. And we didn't score none in the first quarter, first half? First quarter. No, first we quarter. had a touchdown in the second quarter. Yeah. I'm not I'm not upset about it. I'm, I wish we would have won. Yeah. I wish it wouldn't have started off with us looking so poorly. Yeah, yeah. We turned it around, though. So Yeah, you no, know, it was an entertaining game. Yeah. Which, and again, it was close. I yeah. was dreading another Saints level blowout that's what i was concerned about because they absolutely have the capacity to do that the chiefs i mean and they started off like they were going exactly and they're just so they're such an efficient and powerful offense like they just score at will basically which is what we saw with tyreek hill and it it definitely fell off thank god Mm mm-hmm how about uh, Godwin? He played good tonight. Yeah, I thought he had a good game. He got he touch he makes some really tight catches. Like there will be like two or three defenders right there, mm-hmm. and they are threading the needle. And a lot of times, I can't believe he made those catches and that it wasn't intercepted. Yes, and he's he's very good at the runs after the catch. Mm-hmm. He's just kind of a tough guy. Didn't he have another great touchdown? I can't no. Remember. He had no touchdowns this game, but he had 97 yards. Who had that touchdown? 
that I'm thinking. Let me see. Oh, Mike yeah. Evans what? had two. Mm-hmm. Rojo had one. It was Rojo. He had a great touchdown. Yeah, that yeah. 37 yarder. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sweet. But that was that was considered a catch. Yeah, I guess he did have a hundred yards total. He had sixty six rushing, thirty seven uh receiving. And it was one reception hmm. where he got that. Yeah, so you know our defense didn't look at times like it was uh up to the task, you know, and same thing can be said about their defense. I mean, we, mm-hmm. we got some big plays on their defense too. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, they let us come back to within striking distance. Heck yeah. We had a, a long of 48 yards. That was Gronkowski. Chris Godwin had a 44 yard. Mike Evans had a 31 yard. Barton Damn. Jones had a 37 yard. Whoa. I mean, those are really big plays. Yeah. That's four 30 plus yard plays. How many did they have? Let me see. Probably much. Ooh. <laughs> Tyreek Hill had 75 yards. Okay. Kelsey had 20. Oh, Sam, Sammy Watkins had 14. Demarcus Robinson had 13. So they only had one big play? Uh, The 75-yarder. Yeah. But they didn't have, like, any big yard plays after that? You said a 20-yarder. This is by person. It's like their longest. So they might have had long, or Uh, long, but not like Tyreek. I thought thought you were looking at a game book. No. Okay. Just the stat sheet. So, you know, but yeah, it was was strange. The Bucs defense fell apart or, you know, did really, you know, that's the thing with Carlton Davis. He was there every time. Yeah. You know, and then he just didn't. It's it's Tyreek it Hill. Out. Like, what are you gonna do? There's only so much you can do. Yeah, you know. I mean, it would have been nice if he would have turned around on one of them and knocked it away or intercepted it, but you know, he just uh, it, what I counted was three, where he just got beat by a little bit and just didn't close it out. I, you know, I don't think he played horrible. No, I don't think so either. You know, it's not like Tyreek Hill and Patrick Mahomes are scrubs. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> He was there. I'm just happy that the score was close. And it was just not a complete and total blowout. Yeah, it was scary at first. We looked. So I'm not uh I'm not upset. I I really wasn't. I was I was disappointed with the loss. I was like, man. And Partly it was because we were right there. It was just like, man, if our defense could have stopped him, we could have got the ball back. We might could have did something. But then again, Tom Brady could have thrown another interception. Yeah, you know that's true. And that that could have been even even more heartbreaking. Have he you- did throw two interceptions tonight. Yes. One of them looked like it was his fault. The other one bounced off the receiver. I think. I don't remember. The first one I do remember, and I, yeah, I don't. I think it was a bad pass. You'll see on the game film, huh? Yeah, yeah. Got a lot of game film to catch up on. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> Still got to do the Rams game. Yep. Good thing we got a bye week. I know. Looking forward to it. Get a break for a little bit. Break and do film. <laughs> uh, get a break and get to do some work. Yes. Um... All right, so we're uh, not feeling too bad about this. It does suck, but you know we're going into the bye week with some some positive things, things that need to be worked on, and we're coming out on the other side with a relatively easy schedule. Heading this is the 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 fourth turn. What's it called? The yeah, the last quarter mile, whatever. We're getting ready to come <laughs> to the finish line, and the finish line is going to the playoffs. That's the goal. We're, we're we're almost there, man. We're almost there. It's been a long time since we've been this close, this late in the season. I know. So, uh, be proud, be happy. You know, hey, watch the game again a couple times. You probably won't be as depressed. That you know? that's what happened when we rewatched the Rams game. Is that we saw it? It was really close until Tom Brady threw that interception at the end. Mm-hmm. Like it was, it was a game until that happened. So. 
sometimes when you rewatch them and you know what the outcome is, it just can change your perspective. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have the expectations, I guess. You know what's going to happen. Yeah. So you can be more objective and not as emotionally involved. All right, guys, you want to close this out? I do. Let's go watch <laughs> some football. Green Bay and Chicago. So that has some playoff implications. The Packers are trying to move up in the seeding. They're still a game behind the Saints. And then the Bears, you know, they need a win to stay competitive. They're not even in the wild card round, but they want to get there. So they need a win. The Bears? The Bears. Yeah. The Bears. Still Bears. Okay. All right, that's going to wrap it up for us. Till next time. Go Bucks.